Hello and welcome. My name is Alesh and I'm installing a, a LexD server. I have a special need for my containers to live on the local area network and to get their IP addresses from an existing DHCP server. I'm going to do that by installing my own bridge instead of the default which comes with the LexD server. I have already downloaded the VirtualBox 5024 which is installed and I have an image available of Ubuntu 16.04 server. So let's get on with it. LexD server will be the name and it's Linux of course. I'll give it uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM, create a new hard drive with 28 gigabytes is okay. Make some changes to my settings. I won't be needing floppy. Display should be a bit bigger so you see what I'm doing. Storage, I'll mount the Ubuntu image. Audio is not needed. Network, this is a special one. Uh, choose the bridged adapter and in advanced section uh, choose the promiscuous mode allow all. In that way your containers will be available on the network and you will see all your computers and vice versa from them. So English is okay. Uh, we choose a special mode. Press F4 modes. Install a minimal virtual machine. Okay. Install Ubuntu server. English is fine. I live in some other part of the world. So that's it. Don't detect my keyboard. Just use my Slovenian. So while it's detecting my hardware, uh, let me show you my network. So I'm on a computer called Comet and its IP is 192.168.0.7. Simple class C network uh, with gateway at dot one and DNS server at 254. Uh, this is a Ubuntu server with DNS mask and it serves as DHCP server also on my network. So back to our installation. We are almost done with setting up the IP. That's it. We'll name the computer Lex D server. And then my name is Alesh Valpotich, Alesh for short. I'll give it a password. Yes, I know it's weak and don't decrypt my home directory. I'm in Europe, Ljubljana. So, setting up the disks. Use the entire disk and write changes to disks. So, this is probably a setup you have seen a million times. Just a simple virtual box installation of Ubuntu server. You might install it in your own way, but that's the simple installation I usually use. Uh, so we are coming to apt. So no proxy. Just default applications which come for the minimal installation. Won't use automatic updates. I'll just uh, install the open SSH server so I can connect to my server from any machine on my local network. Easier for me to maintain. So we are waiting, work, waiting for the installer to get to the last part. We'll install the bootloader and then restart the machine. Okay, yes, and that's it. So continue, and when the machine comes back up, we'll do some maintenance work. Uh, we'll update the Ubuntu server, and when that's finished, we'll install the needed applications and packages uh, to actually install the LexD. So I'll make myself a Superman and do some maintenance apt update and apt so yes uh, and this finishes will be installing the bridge utilities 
I'm using Nano as my preferred editor and will ins also install LexD itself, which will use ZFS as the underlying file system. So a few moments away from the maintenance done. And now we are installing up to install uh, bridge utils. I need nano, ZFS and LexD itself and I know what I'm doing. So this is also a quick install and now we can start thinking about setting up our bridge. So network interfaces and I'll change my interface from DHCP to manual start. We'll be doing a new interface BR0 which will be static. Let's give it an address of 192.168.0.15. Net mask will be the familiar one and my gateway on my local network is this one. So name sir verse 192.168.0.254. So those are my IPs on my local network. Now for the bridge, e faces ENP0S3 and bridge ports EMP0S3. When this comes up, I have config emp 0 s 3 comes up also. That's how Ethernet 0 is called now. At 0 is called now in Ubuntu 16.04. So that's it. I want to be sure that all my network settings are correct. So I regularly reboot my machine. It only takes a minute, but it saves me from problems if this configuration file uh, wasn't correctly typed. So I'm in. Uh, I'm thinking the outside world and it's working great. Now uh, let me install actually init the LexD system. So sudo LexD init. So are we using ZFS? Create a new pool. Yes, please. It will be called LexD pool. Uh, won't be using a device, but just give it 20 gigabytes of my disk. Won't be available over the network and create, uh, configure the bridge. We are not setting up a new bridge, no, but we are using an existing one. Which one? The BR0 we created earlier. So that's it. Uh, now I can install my new container, Ubuntu 16.04, and let's call it uh, small server. Okay. So this will really take a minute. Uh, the installer needs to download the image from the repository and actually produce the server. This procedure happens only once if you're using the same uh, version of the base image and it's later stored on your computer. So no need for retrieving and downloading uh, every time. Should be done in a minute. Okay, now we issue LXC list to see our servers. So my server got the IP of 236 and I'm going to my local machine, to my workstation and I'm pinging the new server. Okay, nice, it works. So I go into this one, small server minus minus bash. Uh, let's say I'll install the Nginx server. Sure, let's do it. And if everything went smoothly, then we should go to the small server dot local. And we are in engine X running from container on our local network.
So that's it. Thanks for watching.